uh, to come inside and have a, a great meal. And uh, you know, let's really uh, give some credit to the to the chef. Give yeah. them a applaud the chef because it was really a great meal that we had here. It's a nice It's a good way to, uh, to be able to engage with people. And on top of that, I want to uh, give recognition to Suzanne Patzer. That's right. Because Suzanne has put this whole thing together, organized us all in a bunch, and lined us up and set us off to, in order to uh, have this uh, celebration today. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about Joe Keenan. Uh, Joe was born in uh, Baltimore, uh, probably about my time, in the 1950s, I guess, and uh, became an, eco uh, uh, an activist in the ecology, an ecological activist, uh, when he became a Baha'i, and he, uh, uh, during the sophomore year at the University of New Mexico, it was interesting in reading that when I uh, saw it is that because in the, I remember because in his uh, biography or whatever it is that during that spring in 1970 they had the first Earth Day and I lived in Albuquerque at that time I was in my senior year at Albuquerque High School and he also mentioned it's also mentioned that there was uh, he, that uh, Joe saw an explosion of anti-war activity. Well, that was during Kent State. I remember when the University of New Mexico campus erupted, and uh, in uh, just a massive demonstration, everybody was really upset by it. And there was marching in the street, and eventually there was uh, some type of uh, a riot of uh, civil disobedience. But they did pass Albuquerque High School, which is on Central Avenue going towards downtown. And uh, from what I remember, I didn't see it, but it was big news at the school because I wasn't there at the time, is that our ROTC group from Albuquerque High attacked the demonstrators and there was a big old riot in front of our school. So it was something else. It's something that was neat to have that memory again and think that uh, but in some way Joe was there and I was there at the same time. From the University of Mexico Arts, and then was drafted into the army. So that must have been a nice way to enter the marketplace. And he uh, was a conscientious objector. So, uh, and after, the, after leaving the, the service, he studied uh, environmental planning in Nova Scotia uh, College of Art. Eventually he got a master's degree in uh, landscape architecture. So, Coming to, in 1990, in 1984, that's when Joe moved to, to uh, Columbus. And uh, at that time, he, he helped organize the 1990 Earth Day, uh, Earth Day Festival, at, which was at Whetstone Park, and that led on to 1994, the Earth Day celebration in Columbus, he was part of that. And at that time, uh, he was at the Central, he started becoming active in the Central Ohio Green Education Fund. And that's who, what I'm president of, and that's what Joe is vice president, and that's our board, the Central Ohio Green Education Fund. Mm -hmm. And they had other projects, uh, but the project right now that we have, and one of those projects was the, uh, the Columbus Grassroots, Grassroots uh, Congress, uh, which happened in 1999. But uh, as, as that pro project faded out, in, uh, 19, in 2016, the Central Ohio Green Education Fund had a new project, and the new project was getting the radio station. And we have to uh, give some credit to Eugene Beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the whole group of people that actually were involved in it at that time, we had our, uh, um, our past president, uh, Gregory Gross, uh, they organized yeah. diligence, making the application, getting the radio station. And then from there on, they organized with uh, Victoria Parks. And Victoria diligently researched uh, and put on a, an extremely professional program. And she basically did that all by herself, though I'm sure many other people were involved. Um, so with that project, I became involved maybe about three years after that. 
and I started working with Victoria Parks as the programmer. And Joe, he basically he represents uh, Central Howe Green Education Fund by uh, uh, as a representative with Community Shares of Mid Ohio, which is a major uh, funder for the radio station, which really doesn't take much money in order to run the radio station. You know, uh, it's amazing how two hundred fifty dollars can really get you a, far, a long way <coughs> with a community radio station. It's an all volunteer, and you have to be nice to everybody because it's an all volunteer organization. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it makes uh, sort of it's a nice uh, environment to be in. We're not like a, a, a commercial radio station where we have to uh, spend so much time raising money all the time because you have the obligation of having paid employees and all that, which would be nice, but. We're a central how we are a community radio station and Joe's part of it and he's been integral in the development of it. And I'd like to ask Joe to come up here and accept the award for being the volunteer of the year. made a mistake. I never got a master's degree because I ended up staying home with kids instead of raising them. <laughs> so, I've been bucking the system every you want. Um, the mic closer to your mouth. Pardon? The mic closer to your mouth. Just talk into it. Oh, I have to talk Nailed right it. into it and then break the yeah. eardrums. Okay, um, I'm really pleased to get this. I wasn't you know, involved in being a servant to get an award because I consider the mission so important. Uh, the green values are, um, I don't think I'm that political. I mean, they come out of the, the green political tradition and the Green Education Fund started uh, soon after the uh, political party in Ohio kind of petered out for a while. And during the 90s, it, it wasn't really functioning up until like 2000. But, I'm not, I'm not totally nonpartisan, and um, eventually I joined the board because I wanted to, they were basically supporting the Citizens Grassroots Congress, and that was the primary project of the Green Education Fund from about 1999 up into the latter years of the Obama administration, and um, they were pretty good at, they did like quarterly events on different topics that have to do with the green values, we bring in <coughs> national speakers. Um, for example, we partnered with some of the departments at OSU to bring in Michael Parente, who's an uh, impeccable internationally known Marxist scholar of history. Um, and like me, there's some interesting facts that I'm not going to talk about now. Oh, we brought in our Cameron Roller, the guy for it, who was part of the Vice Chairman and everybody. I'm really sort of thinking about basic <laughs> rights to be able to run its court and you know, getting you know, the award for the, the uh, license to run a, a radio station. So this is the second community-based radio station in Columbus. And it's local radio with local media in general is really important. And that was a priority uh, of the of the uh, Citizens Grassroots Congress, which was an attempt to sort of organize on an ongoing basis. Uh, groups that were involved in things that are labeled progressive, which to me is not progressive, which is civilized. I mean, we heard the 10 values, and they're basically the values of a civilized, strictly based culture that governs for well being. Yeah. You don't have government for well being, you don't really have government. You just have something else, but I want to call it that. So, um, I, somebody said you should write a speech, but I didn't want to write a speech. <laughs> but I did have a quote from my religious writings and my writings that sort of been the inspiration for me all these years. And I would like to share it. Yeah. And you're not, um, I'm not a big... <clears throat> anyway. And we'll leave it at that. Use the mic. Yeah. I call myself an ecological <laughs> activist because the environment is just one aspect of ecology. All of us are part of the ecology, we're part of a global ecosystem, yeah. and you know, the, the original word 
ecology comes from mikos in the Greek, which has to do with home and household. So ecology is about studying our household, our home, which is the whole planet. Economics, that's the same root word. It's about order in our household. Why do we have people going to bed hungry? In the time, I'm on a soapbox, but I'll stop soon. In the time, I think of like, of like, of a Big Mac. Somewhere in the world, a child would die from hunger. In the time it takes to sing the chorus of Jingle Bells, six to ten, the people in the world are dead because of poverty-related issues. So if we're thinking ecologically, we're not just thinking about the environment. We're thinking about peace. We're thinking about relationships. We're thinking about community, and that's the spirit of WGRN. And Ms. Thomas epitomizes that. Local, grassroots driven media. So much of the media now is top down. There are about six corporations that own 90 plus percent of the media with agenda based program. <laughs> sure, we got an agenda based program. It's the key three values, which is not real an agenda. That's just Fusion and civilized. Uh, something shows you. Of discernment. While walking upon the earth, feel is indeed abashed, inasmuch as he is fully aware that the thing which is the source of his prosperity, his wealth, his might, his exaltation, his advancement and power is, as ordained by God, the very earth which is trodden beneath the feet of all men. Think of that. The soil of the earth is the foundation of our life, and we walk upon it. Um, I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> there can be no doubt that whosoever is cognizant of this truth is cleansed and sanctified from all pride, arrogance, and vainglory. So as I see it, development and transforming of society grows out of the earth. Stirring in the grassroots, epitomized by Ms. Thomas's show. You need some value from top down. You don't want to get rid of government altogether because you want to have some coordination. And I better stop because I'll go. I will one last thing. As I see it, since the news has pretty, been very disturbing, the news, because it's all the bad stuff. The time has come, as I see it, to get rid of the nation and all together. Mm -hmm. It's time for an international federation of autonomous bioregions living in peace. And that's what WGRN is all about.